Hi, this is James with Western Equipment. I'm here with Carl, and we're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to calibrate your John Deere 1910 hydraulic drive air cart. Be sure after watching this video, if you like what you see, comment below, subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. Okay guys, today we're going to calibrate a 1910 and we're going to first start here by taking the catch bag and installing it on the bottom of the meter. So you can locate your bag here in the container on the side here and your scales. We'll go ahead and hang up the scales here. Then, then we're going to proceed down here by removing the bottom of the cover off the hook the bag on the back, two little catches on the back there. Tighten your bag here. Then it's time to proceed into the cab and make sure it's set up properly. Here we are in the cab with a 1910 hydraulic drive. You gotta have the tractor running. There's a few settings within the display we wanna check that, that are correct. So first go to menu air cart, air cart setup, tool, verify that the tool is set up correctly for what you're fixing to do. So here behind us we've got an 1890 and it's set at seven and a half row spacing and a 42 foot. From there go to meter setup and we're going to calibrate the front tank for fertilizer. So I've got fertilizer in her, the type, and the meter. The meter is a black meter. There's several options and today we've got a black one installed. From there proceed to calibrate. Check mark the box for the front tank. Hit the continue button. Now that we've already got the bag installed the meter RPM value can stay at 25 now we're going to go back there and rotate the meter by laying on, uh, holding down on the switch and let the meter turn two revolutions. We're going to empty the bag and reinstall it. Then we're going to come back up here and hit the accept button or continue. One thing I'd like to point out here, if you are going to calibrate both tanks, just check mark the front and rear, hit the continue button and proceed like you were going to calibrate one tank at a time. Here's the switch. So we're going to hold down on this switch. It's going to rotate the meter a couple of times to fill the meter to prime it. When you first put product in it, the meter does not have any product in it. So now that we've rotated the meter a few times, take the bag off. Dump it in the top of the tank. Now install the bag back on the bottom of the meter. And then we're going to go back up in the cab and hit the continue button. Okay, back up here in the cab on the display. Now that we've completed these five steps, we need to hit the accept button. Then we're going to go back there and lay on that switch, hold down on it until the meter stops turning and we'll weigh the product. So we're going to hold down on this toggle switch. The meter will stop turning whenever it's done. You can calibrate both tanks at the same time if you have two bags. 
they can be calibrated at the same time the one thing i would advise if you do be sure to write down your weight so you don't get them confused of which which weight is the front which is the back Once the meter has stopped rotating, remove the bag with these two rings hanging here on the bottom of the scales. First turn it on. <laughs> Another thing I would point out, if you did, I would calibrate or zero these scales out by hitting the zero button before you put product in the bag. But since I did not today, this right here weighs 26 pounds. So we're going to deduct one pound for this bag. Another thing I will point out that people mess up on here is on the side here, it says a mode. So right now it's in pounds. You can hit it. It'll go to pounds, ounces or kilograms. Make sure it's in pounds that's what the display is looking for so we've got 26 pounds so we're going to enter 25 pounds into the display so now we've had our weight uh, one one more time i'd remind you guys to if you did not hang your bag and zero it out be sure to subtract one pound for that bag so our weight come up was 26 pounds i did not zero it so we're going to put enter 25 pounds here hit accept this MDV value, the calibration is basically done, but on this value here, the MDV, I normally calibrate them two to three times, and this value should not change relatively much within a few hundreds. If you do see a drastic change, that means you messed up, you did something in error, and I would caution you guys to calibrate it again. If you have any comments or feedbacks, We'd like to hear from you, comments below.